Hi there, I'm going to do today a video about a Texas rig uh, for wrasse fishing. Um, I tend to use, as you can see, 18 pound Maxima chameleon monofilament. I don't use fluorocarbon. Um, I've done over a thousand UK dives and I've, to be honest, the fact I'm using a brown monofilament, that does change colour. Um, there's loads of detritus in the water that will be similar to this color wise and i don't think it makes a significant difference so anyway that that's what i use um i've pulled off about a meter ish of my mono what we will then do is just put that down i'll do my hook first of all i tend to use snowby um stinger extra wide gas gap um worm bass hooks um so far these hooks have never let me down they are very strong um they're barbed but we don't need barbs in in wrasse fishing play, play your fish properly and you won't need them so let's just crimp up the barb so that's it size one hook i use a size one hook for 99 percent of all my lures um wrasse have got very small mouths um and as a result having a, a hook that's much bigger than that i feel you don't need um, so I'm going to do a four turn grinner knot. So here we go. There's a video of my four turn grinner knot also available. If you subscribe, you'll be able to find it. Two, three, and four. So now I lubricate my knot with a bit of spit, pull it up, pull it tight, and trim off my end. Okay. Um, then, from there, we will then add, he says looking for them, a bead. Um, on a nice bright day like this, finding the way into a black bead is never easy, but we're there. Let's put the lid on those, because they will go everywhere. At the top of my rig, I then have a... Um, 45 pound stainless steel uh, power swivel. Uh, these things are great. They're really, really strong and tiny. So we'll dig out one of these. There we go. One's decided to come out. So yet again, as I did in the last one, we're going to have a four turn grinner knot. So there's a grinner knot. So one two, three, and four, then lubricate the knot, like so, whoops, pull them up tight, trim off the end, so there's our basic Texas rig, um, now for leads, the leads I use, I use, most of the time I use a um, 13 gram egg lead, uh, I think these weigh half an ounce. Um, but what I've done with these is I've helped make sure the hole is big enough for the swivel to go through. So I can choose the lead I'm going to use on the day. I don't have to pre-make the, the, my traces with a lead on there. I do it this way for the reason that if I ever get um, a ras and it breaks off my braid, i.e. on a rock or something like that, which has never happened so far, of the hundreds I've caught, I've never lost left a, a trace in a fish go all the way down the end and as you can see the lead just falls off so in a worst case scenario the fish would have a barbless hook in its mouth and a trace okay so that's that um, then i will use a little bit of eva foam that's just to go over the hook point Now the reason why I pre-make all my traces is that when I'm fishing, I want to spend my time fishing, not actually tying traces. So I'll make up, I don't know, 10, 20 um, traces. Um, I tend to make, uh, for example, I might, might, might make 15 size 1 traces, size 1 hooks, and then 5, say, 1 0 hooks, uh, traces rather. Um, I'll put a size 1 on there so I know. So I've got that in my bag ready to go i've only got to tie one knot now the alternative to this would be you'd have to tie three knots um, this is a lot quicker a lot faster i find it a lot more efficient um, 
it's a system that works very well for me. Give it a try. Rass Fishing Texas Rigs. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, any comments please leave them below. Thank you.